the divine masculine. <laughs> We're both gonna say it. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Changes. Changes. The Des divine masculine. Decisions. Yes. They're like, would you just say it already? <laughs> That's the suspense though. Oh my isn't god. It? Oh my god. Divine masculine has some decisions to make this week. Mm -hmm. there's something going on and the divine feminine mm -hmm. right because you're one with your twin flame so it's going to be mirrored on both sides okay so for the divine masculine side we have choose wisely so many directions to go in mm -hmm. what do you choose yeah and you can see the birds up here it's like symbolic for twin flames mm -hmm. so the divine masculine is really you can see here sitting in kind of solitude and really getting clear on a way forward there's mm -hmm. something that's come to be and i really feel like it's related to this card here too yeah it's related to their shadow self mm -hmm. looking um there's a lot of introspection looking inward um there's something that they're facing and of course it's themselves right our shadow self is our inner self our inner being and so there's something that they're looking at and getting clear on and you know in a way and then deciding on a way forward mm -hmm. which also ties in too with partnership number two mm -hmm. and this card says movement choices and decisions so the the divine masculine is really contemplating something this week in relation to partnerships union mm -hmm. uh forward movement and it really seems like that's been the energy over the last I don't know three weeks is a lot of like getting clear on desires which mm. resonates because that's what we've been doing yeah getting, but, uh, but mm -hmm. it's time to make a decision now right because you can get into that space of where you're hesitating afraid mm. that you're going to make the wrong decision and that's mm. a place you don't want to sit in yeah any choice to move forward is the right choice mm -hmm. there there is no uh, wrong decision in that you mm -hmm. you only get redirected that's everything that's going to happen you know or, or it's yeah. the right path like it's just don't stay stagnant basically. exactly if yeah. you're choosing to move in the direction of your highest good your union mm -hmm. really like any choice you make is going to lead you to that mm -hmm. now that doesn't mean you know like what i heard is like well, let me go date someone else then while my divine masculine. No, 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 no. That's not what we mean. <laughs> That's just leaking your energy, mm -hmm. right? But it does mean following your heart and moving in the direction of your union. Mm -hmm. Okay. So angel answers or angel guidance. Mm -hmm. First card we have is no more complaining. Yeah. And that also goes for any negativity and anything that, because that's all getting in the way of your manifestations, mm -hmm. basically. So no more of that, because you can feel the difference, right? If you made a choice, for instance, you, I'm going to let go of complaining. And when you do it, and you, you feel it's like, oh, this is a bit off, right? Mm -hmm. So just kind of like see how your life like shifts and changes when you're um, letting go of complaining. Yeah, twin flame love is transcendental. It's not like a relationship that we're used to in the world. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, normally, you know, in relationships in the world, you complain or you, um, I'm going to scratch your back, you scratch my back, but that's not what twin flames are. It's a foundation mm -hmm. of unconditional love. And so you got to consistently point yourself into mm -hmm. love and let go of that complaining. We can feel like it gives us something, but it really doesn't do anything. It lowers your vibration. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got three more cards here which one do you feel is the next one yeah yeah so i asked them well this uh answer to a question the mm -hmm. collective is uh you know a question they're having it's up to you and that also mm -hmm. entails a choice right you have to make a choice mm -hmm. what do i want yeah something that just popped in my head was my twin flame here sent me a meme uh, a little while ago and it says i i threw i threw in the towel and god threw it back <laughs> yeah. and so what i see here is the angel she's like pointing at you and she's like no you got the power mm -hmm. the ball's in your court you yeah. you have to take action mm -hmm. in your life in your reality yeah and i feel like the next card is like a lot of encouragement which says mm -hmm. go for it yeah. just go for it what whatever you choose whatever direction just just dive in have full faith that uh you're moving in the right direction and know that you're fully supported in that 
Yeah, don't sit in it any longer. The solutions have to be made. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and then the next card from, you know, uh, Angel Guidance this week is Longing for Home, Belonging, the Original Lightworkers. So you are a spiritual being and you are longing for that oneness and that union with your twin flame and you are being guided perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's within you first before it manifests in your physical reality. So yeah, letting go of these low vibrational energies mm -hmm. is what helps you to high, like vibe into that high state of being and meeting your twin flame there. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I think also it, it, that is also about a decision. It feels like, you know, mm -hmm. like you're creating that now, right? While you're making these decisions, you're creating that home. Mm -hmm. You're creating that foundation with your twin flame. Uh, and I think also with this, with, you know, when it's like home, right? It's whatever that is. And like, how is your root chakra feeling? How mm -hmm. is your like... That is your kind of like home in a sense, right? So yeah. maybe check in there a little bit to see what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. On to the divine feminine. All right. So got the judgment card. Truth. Oh. So, and this card is also about decisions. A mm -hmm. choice has to be made in an area of your life. This is kind of like what comes, this is the whole reading basically. Yeah. I feel like it's important to say too, because I can feel um, something here is that there's this idea in consciousness that twin flames choose separately. You might be feeling, okay, well, what is my twin flame going to choose? But this is the magical part of twin flames is you choose as one. Mm -hmm. So if you're choosing union at your, at your uh, core, mm -hmm. so is your twin flame. So it's literally just a choice. I choose and claim my harmonious twin flame union. Yeah. Literally all you have to do and the universe responds to that. And also the choice of love always wins. Yes, yeah. exactly. But but this is like, it's time to make that decision. Mm -hmm. And you're doing that with God, right? Yeah. Crown chakra. And that's also seven. We have a seven over at the masculine too. So you're on, the, you're on the right path, but a decision has to be made. So you know what that is and which mm -hmm. area. So it's just about going for it. Yeah. And the yeah. last card here, when you do make a decision, what is not in alignment with that mm -hmm. decision will fall away and that can cause you to have feelings of grief you might feel that you're losing something but you can't lose what's not meant for you mm -hmm. you can only lose what's not real mm -hmm. and it could be a pattern it could be a belief it could be it could be something in your physical reality but you don't want it anyways so make that choice you know what it is and just take a step in the right direction there you go mm -hmm. very powerful good reading mm -hmm. yes all mm -hmm. right so enjoy this week's reading and we'll see you in the next Bye -bye.